and welcome back today i will discuss about what is network topology it's a most important topic in computer science <clears throat> the configuration or topology of a network is a key to determining its performance network topology is the way a network is arranged including the physical or logical description of how links and nodes are set up to relate to each other there are numerous ways a network can be arranged all with different pros and cons here we will focus on what is network topology first one network topology refers to how various nodes devices connection on a network are physically or logically arranged in a relations to each other there are two approaches to network topology physical and logical physical network topology as the name suggests refers to the physical connections and interconnections between nodes and the network the wires cables and so forth <clears throat> the other one is logical network topology in logical network topology little more abstract and uh, strategic uh, form referring to the conceptual understanding of how and why the network is arranged and why it is important and how the way it is and how data moves through it why is network topology important the layout of network is important for several reasons as above we discussed it plays an essential role in how and how well your network functions choose the right topology for your company's operational mode models can increase performance while making it easier to locate faults troubleshoot errors and more effectively allocate resources across the network to ensure optimal network health types of network topology here we will discuss types of network topology the first one is star topology the second burst topology third one ring topology fourth one tree topology and fifth is mesh topology and the last one is hybrid topology firstly we will discuss about the star topology what is star topology a star topology the most common network topology is laid out so every node in the network is directly connected to uh, one central hub the one central hub uh, is uh, like the coaxial cable twisted pair cable or the fiber optic cable because there the three uh, transmission medium the wires are coaxial twisted pair and the fiber fiber optic cable and the most authentic cable is the fiber optic cable acting as a server this central node manages data transmissions as um, network has to pass through the central one of the reach its destination and functions as a repeater which helps next one is bus topology what is bus topology a bus topology orients all the devices on a network along a single cable running in a single direction from one end of the network to the other so here is a main one cable and all other pieces are attached within that the cable so <coughs> this is also called line topology or backbone topology data flow on the network also follows the route of the cable moving in one direction you see in this diagram here is a main cable and all pieces are attached within this main cable so this is called the line topology
Next one is ring topology. You see in this diagram, this is the ring topology. What is ring topology? Ring topology is where nodes are arranged in a circle. You see, like uh, one ring in a like a, a circle form, the ring topology is arranged. The data can travel through the ring topology or a ring network in either one direction or both direction. Means that clock clockwise or anti-clockwise. With each device having exactly two neighbors. Tree topology. What is the tree topology? The tree topology structure like the tree you see in the garden there are the many trees there the, the tree one tree has a many branches so like that uh, tree topology all the pieces are connected within a network in a network like a tree the tree topology structure gets its name from how the central node functions as a sort of trunk for the network with nodes extending outward in a branch like question however where each node is a stored in a stored topology is directly connected to the central hub a tree topology has a parent child hierarchy to how the nodes are connected those connected to the central hub are connected linearly linearly to the other nodes so two connected nodes only share one mutual connection because the tree topology structure is the both extremely flexible and scalable it's often used for wide area network to support many spread out devices like this you see in this diagram this is the tree topology there the central hub and and like this one the main point and there are the two branches like one is secondary hub and the other also the secondary hub on the left right and uh, further more computers are attached within it next one is a mesh topology a mesh topology is an intricate and elaborate structure of point to point connections where the nodes are interconnected you see in this form every computer is connected directly point to point conversation is here exist mesh networks can be full or partial mesh partial mesh topology are mostly interconnected with a few nodes with only two or three connections while full mesh topology are surprise fully interconnected the web like structure of mesh topology offers two different methods of data transmission routing and flooding when the data is routed the nodes use logic to determine the shortest distance from the source to the destination when the data is flooded the information is sent to all nodes within the network without the need for routing logic last one is hybrid topology you see here you see here one is stored topology the other is ring topology and if the both topologies are connected with each other or formed a new network that is called hybrid topology let's see the definition what is hybrid topology hybrid topology combined to or more different topology structures as i also show you in the diagram the tree topology is a good example integrating the bus and store layout hybrid structures are most commonly found in the larger companies where individual departments have personalized network topologies adapted to the suit their needs and network usage which topology is best for your network 
no network topologies are perfect or even inherently better than the others so determine the right structures for your business will depend on the needs and size of your network but you have to consider main four points when you choose a topology according to your need the first one is length of a cable needed cable type cost and scalability you have to consider four points when you are choosing the topology and that will be the best topology for your network thanks for watching today lecture next time we will come with a new topic thank you so much bye